SolidWorks Inspection 2023 includes several improvements for both the standalone application as well as the SolidWorks add-in. Let's start by looking at the Auto Extract workflow for the SolidWorks Inspection standalone application. When working with a PDF drawing, we can click on Auto Extract, which gives us a few options. We can either leave it set to include all, or we can individually select which types of data we want the tool to extract. Now we can click the forward arrow, and if we don't want to extract items from all pages, we can uncheck the entire drawing option. This will expand the Sheets section and allow us to select which pages we want to include. We'll go ahead and include all for this example, then click the checkbox to complete the command, and that's all there is to it. The manual ballooning controls have also been updated, so let's select the tab for the SOLIDWORKS part. Note that we're still in the standalone inspection interface. Once we click the Manual Extract button, the cursor changes and we can point the tip of the lightning bolt at any dimension or tolerance. Items will highlight when they are selectable and we can simply left click to add a balloon for that item. This workflow allows us to stay within the standalone inspection application without switching back and forth between programs. Now, let's look at SOLIDWORKS and see how the inspection add-in has been improved. Balloon sequences can now be created and named for future use. We can set a custom name and define a starting number for balloon sequences. Let's see how we can apply balloon sequences to the automatic ballooning within SOLIDWORKS. We'll create a new project using the default template. We still have our options available for controlling the way that items are evaluated, but when we move to the second page of this interface, we can now select whether we want all sheets to be included. We can also select a balloon sequence to be used for one or more sheets. We can now view sheet and drawing views in the characteristic tree, and we can reorder balloons simply by dragging and dropping to reorder views or sheets. The expansion of per sheet control includes the export of multiple sheets as well. Just like creating balloons per sheet, the export options now allow for control over included sheets per document, as well as whether sheets should be exported to a single document or one document per sheet. This applies to PDF exports as well as Excel outputs. <music>